There is absolutely no doubt we are witnessing the slow descent of Drew going heel. It's been very obvious since then following Crown Jewel if you really haven't been paying attention. I've seen the reports. I've seen uh, basically WWE's new deal with the CW Network going into up next year. They have a new deal. As I'm talking about it, that's what's going on right now. As of last night, uh, deal, uh, you can even go. I'll probably try to leave some uh, links below. I mean, but who really reads the fucking description? But I'll, yeah, I'll try. I'll try to for ones who actually want to go out of their way to actually confirm and like you know, or if you just want to, yeah, you just one of those people. But yeah, that's what uh, WWE has that new deal going into uh, 2024. Will probably would take effect with the CW network, and that's probably because uh, this is kind of nothing new too. Also, but it's been this has been going on for like the matter of probably like the last couple of months. Or since as then, it's, it's been going in the background when it comes to the the new TV deals. As we read before, all that they don't know that they don't know the future of Raw. You know, considering it has been on USA Network, but it'll probably stay on USA. And SmackDown pretty much is going to the USA Network also as well, leaving Fox. So yeah, that's what's uh. But I don't want to deter what we actually here to talk about. But that's what's uh, I'll, I'll try I'll try to like go into leeway as of it, but because I kind of want to leave it, probably need to leave it for another like another day. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. But yeah, I think pretty much like the consensus. Let's get to what we actually, you know, Drew McIntyre, what's going uh, going into the you know his uh, road from here on and here on out, and I mean. I was kind of against the de- de- the decision before, being that I don't know I don't really like kind of still do but I, we probably had to see but it's not like Judgment Day is as the same like it was you know when Edge had first st- was st- you know when Edge was in WWE and he had first started this group so it's not entirely weird to include Drew McIntyre and Judgment Day in the same sentence. Especially just when you look at them in a whole new perspective in much more in recent days. And I feel like they're doing it right. I mean, the, the whole story, of course, with the whole, like, them going back in time and the whole story about having Drew basically having to reclaim his broken dreams and being able and going back, you know, he wants to climb back to the top of that mountain. And ha- you know, and have what, and get what was rightfully claimed to him. I feel like, yeah. I mean, the only thing that would be bad, of course, is you have to fuck up the execution. I mean, this this is perfect right here to what to have the story, the current story is right now, and them, yeah, ultimately having to turn him heel. Drew having to go heel, and you know, just just so he could, you know, break that trance of him being and still thinking about that very moment to where his dreams were crushed. And so far he could get back to where he was. I feel like that's fucking incredible. And that couldn't be a more, refer- especially right now, that couldn't be, a, that's, you know, the perfect story. Talk about a perfect, especially for a character in a, re- a more, another reinvention in the next chapter of Drew McIntyre. I mean, just think about that. Uh, Drew having to embrace the dark side, having to go heal again, just so he could stop thinking about what happened three years ago and become to get back, become a world champion again. I mean, it, like I said, that couldn't be a more perfect inclusion to hit into his redemption arc and going into the new Drew McIntyre. I feel like they can get it just like because i i don't think people really also really realize too but yeah i really really liked that character especially with the theme every as everything fit the whole broken dreams uh theme and that was but basically for his opponents or where he would basically crush their dreams and you know that would become become his dream now and that was the whole thing i felt that you know that whole everything fit and him being that you know, of course, over a decade ago, and I feel like a new character reinvention would, as far as that too, I feel like, the, yeah, of course, doing that, as far as, like, being back into the, being the leader, going into Judgment Day, to where they have, you know, the uh, dumb teasing and that whole thing, and then, like, 
I don't want to, because this also goes into also, I don't know, I probably might just keep CW for, like I said, another, but this also goes into what, like, because they need, you need to make it much more interesting. Now, I, also, too, because I also just don't want to see, because you need to go, yeah, we need those stories, just like, because uh, I kind of saw it with, like, pre Pretty Deadly. I don't know if y'all remember that set bit, or y'all was probably watching Raw that day, or WWE overall, but, yeah, like, you need to go back to where that, as far as, like, you need to go back to that type of storytelling, that type of entertainment, to really engage people, and as far as, like, really make, a, as far as somebody's reign, make you know, you know, everything evolved, the character as such, Drew McIntyre too, in this case, and I'm talking about, to make it really just believable, and also very interesting and engaging, like, and it, like, to be much, you can really, yeah, make it, go, like, really, really be creative, Drew becoming the new leader, and Drew just having a completely whole nother new character, I feel like, would be the icing on the cake, just for him to forget what happened to him. You look at the whole thing where, you know, Cord Damian Priest has issues within the Judgment Day, and it kind of also, like, uh, I mean, Finn Balor to a certain degree, or to where they don't really need them anymore. I mean, yeah, it's where they can have his buddies, like, you know, he can have, you can look at this as my opinion, but, you know, I feel like, yeah, like, I mean, hey, why not to have, you know, his uh, Sheamus be into his new group? And also, of course, they have JD already there. And they could probably, like, uh, you know, of course, they already have Dom. You even get a new member. And, like, why not? You know, <laughs> that that can be, and that, and that could basically be, like, you know, Drew McIntyre's new Judgment Day, his new group. And I mean, they need to start doing things to really have, yeah, yeah like, yeah, you can make this really, interesting and to where get people even more if they weren't already behind you but you know basically yeah they could like this this could be one of the things going into 2024 to where you know to really this could really bump yeah like you need to start they need to start doing things to where they can really get because also i mean if you really want a quick answer i don't think it's going to matter when it comes to CW, WWE having a new deal. I mean, you heard SmackDown already going back to USA Network, Raw, they, you know, them really not having, making a splash as far as a big difference when it comes to their them overall financially. Uh, okay, you got your new deal. I mean, you got somewhat of a deal now with CW as far as NXT goes, but I mean, is it really all going to matter? into the Graham Steve scheme of things. I don't, I don't think they're going to gain, especially when it comes down to that, you know, especially with WWE right now, professional wrestling overall. You see AEW, and it's like, what, embarrassingly decline. I mean, I don't think they're going to add new viewership, especially to where they're looked at right now. You know, it's a niche. Like, it's a small, like, WWE practically is a small minority right now. And the viewership just... It keeps getting uglier. I mean, it's, I know it's not a new thing, but still, like, <laughs> there. It's not like it's like, and I, like I kind I said this months ago too. It's not like anything is changing with Triple H or uh, so-called under the new leadership. It, everything is still the same. Nothing is changing at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, this whole new boom period that, of course, you want to have the mindless hive mind of IWC talk about. What boom period? <laughs> Raw is not catching 2 million anymore. SmackDown, is, even with Cena and Roman, barely even breathes 3 million. is below 2 million. And Di you know Dynamite. AEW is barely, they barely scratch up to a b above a million. It just doesn't matter to me. Because, like, you know, USA, I mean, because they have, their USA is a big fucking network, too, as well as Fox. I mean, so, uh, oh, as far as, like, NXT goes, I guess it's probably, I mean, I don't know if they probably, it could be, they could still probably be, I mean, unless they, like, have somebody like a Roman Reigns, well, you know, possibly, a, you know, a Cody Rhodes or probably bumped a little bit of the rating up to, like, <laughs> for them to probably, like, yeah, possibly get a, a, mil a barely a million views. So I, I guess, like I said, it's not going to really matter because they're, I mean, the way WWE is right now, you're not gaining any new, they're not gaining any new viewership. They're not getting, a, you know, 
as far as like a, a younger demographic or they're not gaining any any or getting back that ca casual audience unless you do something to engage with that's why I say right here like you could really make this like as far as what, just like what Roman Reigns and what's going on with that right now and you need to do things that's going to make your product more enticing that much you know that much more juicier so I said, like, so, yeah, like, this whole thing with, of course, that, you know, that whole thing going on with the whole, of course, the whole new deals or them going, it's just a, more of the thing of that, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, or it's, like, just like Fox, like, some of these networks are going to get tired of, like, it's pretty, I don't know, like, it, it, it kind of means the same thing to me, they're, you know, they're going to get tired of just, you know, because they're not making any new money, and you're not really benefiting them, so, I said, we could, like, <laughs> Like, we'll see, but, yeah, I mean, that's what I think, that's kind of, like, my propose of what they could really, or going forward, what can be next for Drew McIntyre, but, uh, yeah, blessings, staple, I, you know, kind of, yeah, basically, I won't be doing uh, Dynamite tonight, but I'll kind of be, like, highlighting it, <laughs> it's still, like, well, I know Dynamite will let me, but WWE, like, I'm not Indian, so, yeah, fuck WWE for that, but, yeah, <laughs> I'll kind of be highlighting NXT, uh, I mean, <laughs> Dynamite tonight, if uh, I have to, but yeah, stay blessed, y'all, and enjoy the rest of your day.